Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fumi and this is OF TV. So today in the Big Brother house, you know, the No Lose Guard house, you know, many things have happened from the from money to this time around. But I'm just going to be giving you, you know, a few things that happen in the morning, afternoon, you know. I'm just going to be like giving you little little tea about some things that happened. So first and foremost, let's talk about Chinwe accusing Nelly about, you know, the jewelry box and, you know, the jewelry box Buara. But you know that theft is a very strong crime to be accused of. And if one doesn't address the matter, it can become, it can actually become a stain on one reputation. So this morning we saw last night, Chinwe was actually uh, um, shouting, accusing Nelly of being a thief. Because Suj, we saw Suj where she came, where he came and dropped a pouch, a jewelry pouch for Chinwe, telling her that his girl, which is Nelly, saw it in the laundry box. And immediately Chinwe just, you know, changed it and be like, oh, she's a thief. How can the jewelry pouch, how can the jewelry pouch just be in the laundry box? Like she was putting it here, the thing is here. How could it get out at 24 karat gold? This is a 24 karat. As in, it kept going on and on, on and on. So on the other side, we in the garden this morning, Nelly was, Nelly now brought up the issue with Cassia, you know, about the jewelry box. She said that she found the jewelry box that didn't belong to her amongst the belonging. And she has also asked other female housemates if they were the owner. But apparently, the jewelry box was Chinwe's. And I guess so, while they were doing laundry this morning, I guess she just went in and gave Chinwe. And after giving her, she was just, you know, that was when the shouting started and everything. And knowing fully that Chinwe and Nelly were not really in a good space, you know, they've had fights one time like that. Well, Nelly was calling her fat ugly girl, you know, something like that and everything. But that went on and on. So I guess later on, Suj asked um, Nelly to go apologize to her. So they didn't really show us where she went, like what they discussed, why they were apologizing. Right that they were showing us the Imbadiwit swings in the, at the gym. I don't know why the camera did that. Probably they are still going to bring up in the future or the reunion or, or anything. But when the camera was coming back, we just saw um, Chinwe saying, it's okay, it's okay. And Nelly was just like going. That means like she had said something to her, like apologizing. Okay, oh, probably I found it though, or I was the one that took it. Though. We did not know. We didn't know what the, you know, what the truth was all about and everything. But we just saw it, let's say, Chinwe saying, oh, it's okay. And Nelly was like, okay, okay. They just, you know, left like that. And after that, we didn't hear anything. So moving on. So Cassia also, um, as a gist about her, she has also brought up brought up her own issue. She said that she overheard Shizoba mention her name in a conversation with him by the way twins. And said she will bring up the matter with Shizoba because she wants to know why Shizoba has her name, has her name on her lips. I don't know about that, <laughs> but probably they can't be talking more than okay. Probably she and Kelly Ray are a couple. That's most thing the Alf says about them. Like, yes. So, in other news, Nelly shed light on the misunderstanding that occurred yesterday during the while they're preparing for their caffeine attacks, where she and the one of them, by the way, twins, OC, I guess, were having like. And it said arguments about suffering. Okay, you are rude. You have ego. You want everybody to listen to you. That fight. So I guess probably what happened initially was like a joke that was made in a bad taste. Like the Imbadoe twins thought Femi David lifting trees over was too much, like a rough play. And you know that the checkers and the Imbadoe twins are, you know, somehow close like that. So the Imbadoe twins went on to make a joke that they would defile Femi Davis' sisters. And Nelly was like, if it were your sister, would you say the same thing? Like, why would you think of that about such uh, another person's sister? 
So that statement crossed the line for Femi David, who revealed that he would not stand for such words spoken against his family. And that's true. So a lot of mis- misunderstanding seems to be flying around, and these tensions between Chinwe, Cassia, as well as Femi David and the Batuwe twins, you know, everything, the house is full, many things are happening, and this is just to be theory, and, you know, many things are beginning to unfold. Many things are beginning to unfold. And Femi David is not really, like, taking it like he, because at this morning, it was like, if he, he don't, it doesn't mind to collect a strike or something, that like if he actually crosses his path, he's going to do this, he's going to do that, you know, everybody is... <laughs> So, another news again. So, another thing that happened today was the birthday breakfast. Remember that today is Anita's birthday, you know, a pair part of the Nelita. Single Pringles are currently having issues breathing properly, and this is the reason. So, Tofa made breakfast for Anita to celebrate her birthday. So, the breakfast consisting of pancakes, smoothies, was presented by Tofa was actually made with love by cheese or bar. Because I was already like, if you're making it, they're always sticking together. How did they have a chance to go and make that breakfast? But, you know, it was already planned and everything. So as they enjoyed the spread, Tofa asked Anita what she wished for. And Anita said she wants to rebrand and have her healthcare facility up and running this year. So Anita appreciated so far's numerous gestures to make her birthday special, you know. We have already given them a shipping name, but we don't know if the ship will ship. <laughs> so so far in return told her not to worry and it was also their birthday. You know, this this is their love story, eh? We are looking forward to it. We want to see where the ship is going to like where it's sailing to. We are this is one ship that I see that the housemates the viewers, the audience are very, very interested in. And guess what? For the first time in three weeks, the Nolus Guard Kitchen is going on a well deserved drink. This came in late last night. It's like, yes, it was even this morning, like it was already midnight already now. So, in line with this week's health and wellness team, Blue Brother has recommended that the housemates reduce their meals. One way to achieve this is by limiting the amount of time the housemate can access the kitchen because this housemate and they do the chop as in one minute like this they're in the kitchen. You can see ten of them in the kitchen. This one is cooking jello fry, this one is cooking fried rice, this one is cooking pancake, this one is doing toast, this one is doing no do they can eat it do me like three times, four times in a day. Kilo day. Uh uh-uh. uh. I guess it's just like they don't know that the economy is sad on the outside. <laughs> they don't know. So my brother was looking for it. I guess my brother is looking for it. to like, ah, you, you can't eat too. We need to reduce the food. <laughs> so the way this will work is that my brother will play a specific music to signify the kitchen is open or closed. Simply put that the housemate have access to the kitchen twice daily, just two times. And for how many hours? Just two hours each time. And if they stay in the kitchen more than the allotted time, they are going to lose 10% of their wager. Do you think they can keep this up? Because hmm, I'm just trying to like, look, they've been trying so far. From morning to half, they've been trying. Let's see how they will last. <laughs> because when the wager is involved, they, all their highs will lit up like, hey, wager care. Ah, we will not do shopping. What if we did not win? Ah, almost forget it though. Mm-mm. It's better because if they do not, I guess if we are not in that condition, they will be like, they will just take it as a joke because this house may pay in one party. They are spoiled. You will be calling them, they will just be dragging that. They will be working. They, will be, they don't really take me with like 100% serious. But when they hear wager and they knew the excitement they had last week, they knew how they shopped, the excitement when the food came in, they wouldn't want to lose this. So we better actually add them there. So with all these tensions brewing and accusations, you know, hanging every in the year, it looks like the housemate hanging for a stormy ride this week because many people are going to like jam themselves this week. Arama, come on, everybody will be on the high side, bye. So who will weather it and who will be swept away? We are in for a rendezvous. Let me know what you think in the comment section.
let me know your opinion and let me know your thoughts and i'll see you in my next video